the crafts for you guys, I would love for you to subscribe if you can. Like, hit the notification bell, you can share with your family and friends. That would be great. So let's get started. I've got these little signs from Dollar Tree that look like little cutting boards. So I'm going to take off that bigger piece, which is the square piece, or the rectangle. It's more like a square So I'm going to pop that off. And then I'm going to try to pull some more of that paper off. Then I'm going to use this chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and it's like for the blackboard so it is black. I'm going to paint like both sides. And then I'm drying it with my little dryer. Doing both sides. I'll probably give two coats to the side that is going to be the chalkboard. I kept stirring it, but it didn't really stir really well. I shook it and I stirred it, but it seemed like there was still a lot of goop down in the bottom. I'm pulling some of the goop down from the bottom because it just wasn't mixing real well with the stick. And I'm just painting away trying to go in the same direction so it'll look nicer. Getting the thicker part that's at the bottom. And then you always take a piece of chalk and you go over the whole thing first. You just rub your chalk all over it and then erase it. And then it'll be a nice chalkboard that will adhere to the chalk a little bit better. Sort of like seasons it. I have these cute little wood letters that I'm not sure where I got them from. Probably off of Amazon. Season. And then I'm going to glue on the letters to the board. This is just something cute, quick, easy, and a lot of times your kids, you know, they ask me throughout the day, like, what's for dinner? What's for lunch? And so you can write on your little board and let them know what today's menu is.
feel awful. Please ride really quick. having to redo these screws a couple of times for some reason they just didn't stick. Quite cute little things on it. Three cookies today, three tacos. Look how cute that is. And it looks like a little menu board. Then I'm going to tie some twine around it. Or if you want to charge your kids a dollar for hot dogs, then charge them a dollar for a hot dog. Especially if they make more money than you do. And I think it turned out really cute. Next is this jar I got from Dollar Tree, and the little stickers are from Dollar Tree, so I'm going to put the stickers onto the jar. And you don't have to use any glue because they have pretty good adhesive on the back of these stickers. I 
Then I got the little dollar light from Dollar Tree, which you can put in there. Like the push light. And look how pretty that turned out. And it's pretty at nighttime too. It's cute in the bathroom or hallway. You can have a hallway table. The next is these little uh, jars in the tin can that I got at Hobby Lobby, which I love. And I got it for 40% off. And I'm just going to tie some twine around each one of them. What on your shoelaces or something simple i just love this look too it's very farmhouse it's simple I'm trying to get the stick off Table decoration and do it in the foyer, just in your bathroom, dining room table, definitely farmhouse look. I have it in my hallway. And I just love the way this looks. The fact that you can make it for so much cheaper, because you see these in stores and they're like 20. $30 for them. And I probably got the jars in the, can, the, in the tin, maybe $10. So it probably cost me $13 to make. I love these lilac horses. I can't see the ground Can we stop this? 
is gravity It keeps bringing me down I can't breathe and I don't want to die I love how pretty it is I love the way it turned out It's also like a little bit delicate with the lilacs, but it also has a cute little farmhouse look. And here it is on my table in the fall. Look how pretty that is. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you for watching, and if you can subscribe, we would love it. Hit the notification bell and the like, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you. Can't see the ground